Hello everyone, um, we're here today for those who have clicked on my video, we're here to discuss Samsara driver app. A lot of people are having issues or having trouble uh, using it. I'm just here to show you guys um, how I would use it during the day, uh, my shift. So <clears throat> here we got the way, once you log in, it's going to it's gonna go to this um, this first page and it's going to show your duty status time you're always going to see that uh what status you're in if you're on duty it'll show you on duty off duty and sleeper birth or even um uh, right now it doesn't show me much because i don't have a vehicle registered yet but we're going to go through that right now so <clears throat> you always want to double check to see what status you're in let's just say you um your, it's your, if it's your first day, you probably won't see nothing on there. Uh, but if it's your second, third day, you will see time here, especially if you're doing this, uh, your 10 hours off or 8 hours off. You always want to make sure that your time has the time you need to have off to start your day before you put it on duty so you don't get no violations. Um, so at this point, I don't, I don't, uh, I'm just using this as a tutorial. So, we're going to pretend I have my 10 hours and I'm ready to go on duty. So I'm going to go on duty and I'm going to add remark. I'm going to do my pre inspection, pre trip inspection. And you always want to save for every remark that you do, you always want to save that way it um, that way registers your, um, your input that you did. So I want to cancel this right now, so I'm going to go back because uh, technically what you want to do is you want to make sure your vehicle is already inserted so that way it, it'll work with your vehicle. Um, so we're going to add just any vehicle at this point. The one you're going to add is the one you're standing probably in front of or the one that you got assigned to. And we always want to, if you're pulling trailers, um, flatbeds, reefers, whatever it is, you always want to add them here, push it here, and we're just going to add any random at this point just to, for tutorial purposes. Add, uh, then you're going to be done, push done. Um, if you already know your shipping ID, which is your PO, delivery seat number, that you're going to do the first load, you can add it here, and you can stack them. So <clears throat> um, you want to make sure you um, put in your numbers or your whatever it is that you're your shipping ID or PO or delivery receipt number that you have for that load uh, information, you can put it on there and hit save. So at this point, we don't have anything. Once you're done adding your vehicle, your trailers, you want to go to done. Okay, so I'm on duty, off duty still. Um, my vehicles are uh, here and done. They're inputted. So we're going to go to on duty. Add remark, so it's the beginning of the day. We're going to do a pre-trip. I'm going to hit save. Now, your duty status time is on duty. Zero minutes and zero uh, hours. So, you're doing your pre-trip. You want to do it for 15 minutes. So, you don't want to move. Uh, you don't want to be driving until you get around your, your 15 minutes. So, uh, what we want to do is we are... Doing our pre-trip, we checked our trailers and our truck. Everything's fine. Now it's time to create a DVIR, deliver, uh, vehicle inspection for that vehicle that we're uh, checking. So we're going to go create a, a DVIR. We're going to create a DVIR for the, for the truck that we're driving. It's all going to be here displayed, what, what it is. And we're going to do a pre-trip inspection. If there's any defects, you want to add them. If it's something wrong with the driver's side, something wrong with the front, passenger, or back, you can add pictures and you can add the defects here. We're not going to add nothing right now because our vehicle is fine. So we're going to go ahead and to put save to drive. And if something's wrong with it where it's not safe to drive, then guess what? Uh, we're going to have to put it right here on un uh, unsafe to drive. It'll be red. And it shows red because you're basically going to red tag that truck. And you want to make sure that uh, you're letting your um, dispatcher know about what's wrong with the truck. If 
the guys are not able to come and fix it right away and if that truck's going to sit there and they're having you jump into another truck and it's not safe then you hit that safe unsafe button and you hit next that way not another driver goes in and, and takes off in that truck uh it being damaged because they are not doing their pre-trip so in this case we're going to put safe to drive next certify and submit of course because we want to make sure it's giving you a thumbs up your your vehicle is good now it's uploading and it's going to show you the time the date and what you did pre-trip so that was for your truck now we're going to do the trailers touch the trailer numbers and we're going to do a pre-trip the same thing goes with that there's something wrong with it we're going to put pictures add the defects in this case we're good so we're going to put safe to drive next and certify and submit so that's what you do when you first start your day and you do your pre-trip make sure that you do your dvirs with your pre-trip um you go back the arrow is always going to be for to go back okay now i want this button here hours of service <clears throat> this is going to show you what we got going on today um we have eight hours until break so uh within the eight hours we have time to take a break make sure you take your break your drive time is 12 hours total shift is what I have left and here's for the today and this is for the week so everybody's gonna be different if you drive um, if you just drive in California you can this is what it looks like if you're agriculture exempt then it's pretty much uh, gonna change so it all depends on what uh, which um, driving that you are assigned to if you're going out of state there'll be a different 70 70 hours um, so it all depends on what you're doing 70 hours 11 hours to drive and right now we're in california property so we're 880 it shows you right there now um let's just say um that we're going down this page so i want to show you what <clears throat> each one uh, does the log it just shows you your logs what you've done throughout the day you can use that arrow to go to other days so you don't have to go back and pick a date. We can use this to um, to navigate and go back. The roadside, okay, so let's just say DOT stops you and, and they wanna see your logs. Uh, well, the, you hit the roadside, you hit a pin, and then you lock your phone. You give this to the officer. The officer will take the phone. He'll look through your, um, your hours of service and he says, okay, uh, can you transfer it to me? Well, there's a transfer button right up here at the top. Push that. And then you give the officer the the, <clears throat> the option of he wants it emailed to the DOT or emailed to himself. More, more like he's going to probably want it to himself so he can look at it. Uh, so he, he will do his uh, thing. He will enter his information. Um, and then once he's done that, he will hand you back your phone. You will put the back, push on the back arrow, and you enter your code. For whatever reason, he wants to see it again. Then we go back to roadside and we enter. We do the same thing again. Hand him your phone. Um, so if you don't want him going through your personal stuff, this locks it so that you are not giving him um, your phone without being locked. So let's go back. So this is what your you uh, this page looks like. So. The other ones uh, we don't really gonna be messing with unless your company has the routes already in there for you, or if they have documents, you can share and send documents as well with the dispatcher. Also, uh, the vehicle it it, it it shows different things that you can use it teams, but you don't you're, if you have teams you can use that as a team, <clears throat> but we're not talking about teams today. So, um, okay, let's just say I've been driving. And I get to my my place that I need to be, and and uh, I'm I'm gonna be loading at this point when you when you go, when you turn off the uh, when you turn off and you're there at the, at the place you're gonna be loading or unloading, it's gonna show you driving. And so what you wanna do is you wanna go on duty, add a remark, and specify what you're doing. You're unloading or loading, or uh, you might be just waiting. So at this point, we'll put waiting. And then you always want to save what you've done. So now you're on. Now it's going to show you on duty waiting. If you have any doubts, you can go to hours of service. 
go to today and you can see what you've done at the time that you've done it. I'm on duty waiting. So these are all your actions you've done all day. For now, we're looking at the one we just did right now. So we're waiting. We can go back. And now you've been working all day. Your eight hours are almost up for your, for your, your break. Okay, let's take a break. Now we're going to go off duty. Add a remark. And we're going to go to break. So well, they always want us to register your break. So it can be half an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how long you're willing to take your break. And you're going to go to off duty, break, and then always save it. Okay, here you're going to have three options. Either if you feel you made a mistake, you can cancel. If uh, you're at the end of the day, you want to go off duty and sign out. That's what we would do at the end of the day. But in this case, we just want to go off duty uh, to take a break. So this will appear on your on your screen. Once you, you got that done, what you want to do is want to watch this clock. Once that clock hits 30 after 30 minutes and you need to take off, well, you're you're um, you're ready to go. So it all depends on how long you're required by your company to take your break. Some 30, some 45, some an hour. And that's all on what, what it is that you need to do. So once you're done, this clock would say 30 minutes, 45 minutes, uh, an hour. So at that point, you're, you're good to go. You want to go hit the duty status. You want to go on duty. If you're going to go uh, and start to drive right away, you can just push drive and save. Or you can just go back to on duty. And if you're still waiting for load, you can put waiting and save. And now you're on duty waiting. Whenever you're, you're ready to go, you just go drive or you can go to the driving and then hit save. And that'll put you back to driving and you can drive off. Now you've been uh, driving all day. You're ready to go home and uh, it's time to, um, to do your post trip. So you get to your spot. You're not going to move the truck or the trailers. You're good to go. You go to your dad, uh, study dad is time. And you want to you want to do an on duty, and then you're gonna add a remark, post trip. You can push on duty even if you're on duty. You can you can push on duty again, so you can add a remark. Uh, so we're gonna do uh, post trip, and then save. Okay, we're gonna go back, and then we're also needing to do a DVIR, which is a vehicle inspection, when you're done using that vehicle for the day or each time you change vehicles you need to do a dvir post trip and pre-trip pre-trip post trip for each equipment you touch during your shift is required so go to uh, create dvir for the vehicle you want to do the post trip because we already did our pre-trip nothing's wrong everything's still good standing save the drive next certify and submit your truck is now uh, has been uh, certified and registered that you have checked it out and it's one hundo, one hundred percent. So now we're gonna go to trailers and we're gonna do a post trip. The same thing. If there's something wrong with it, let's take pictures and add defects. We're not gonna do that. There's nothing wrong with the truck. So we're gonna go to safe to drive next and certify and submit. But this is gonna be done. After you you um, you go on duty, and you're gonna put post trip. You're gonna get off your truck, check your truck tires, whatever it is that your company requires you to do on your post trip. And once you're done with that, then you go and you create the final DVIR post trip uh, that everything is done. So to get out of this, again the arrow is always to get out. You're ready to call it a day. Okay, so. We're going to go off duty and then at this point you can just go off duty and save and now it lets you go off duty and sign out which is what you want to do and that's it now what happens um, when when you go off duty and sign and you just stay on um, just go off duty um, after so many days from what I've seen with the drivers what happens is they um they have issues with the truck registering to your phone so what we want to do 
every day at the end of the shift is sign out and in session to make it a fresh new um, login for each day. During the day, you're fine. Sometimes um, you might want to mess up, but uh, it should it should be you should be fine. Once you log off and in session each day, then you just go back to your 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 um, starting screen and you can um, log it log back in and start your day again. And that's how you that's how you would use your day uh, throughout the day with Samsara. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment. Give me a thumbs up if it was good. Um, and if you want to see some other type of video, uh, maybe um, you can also look at, look on, uh, I have other videos that I've done. You can go through my videos. Uh, if this is helpful for you, give me a thanks or a thumbs up. Thank you.